Hello all, welcome to part 12 of mobile testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain the role of screen orientation in mobile app testing. So let's get started. First of all, what is this screen orientation? Let me take you to this image. As you can see, when the mobile phone is in the vertical position like this, okay, when you are holding the mobile phone like this, in the vertical position, it's called as a portrait mode, okay? And when you rotate the mobile phone in your hands like this in a horizontal mode, this is called as landscape mode. So the mobile devices these days support this portrait and lands, landscape modes. It may not be only smartphones, guys, but also the tablets, okay? iPads, tablets, Android tablets, all the devices can be rotated, guys, okay? All the devices can be rotated. Okay, so where are the options to rotate this uh, devices? If you can see here, guys, in the bottom, you can see another image. Okay, you see in the Android devices, Android, if you are using some Android um, mobile phones, okay, mm -hmm. smartphones or Android tablets or whatever it is, uh, here you will find, okay, in the notification bar, notification center, you just uh, get this notification uh, center or notification bar and you will get this auto rotate option here okay when you select this option and when you move your uh, when you uh, when you move your uh, mobile in uh, portrait mode to landscape or landscape to portrait automatically the screen will change for example if you are watching a youtube video in portrait mode and you want to see in full screen something like that then you generally you generally everyone does that right just uh, select this option first auto rotate and then uh, move the mobile into the rotate the mobile into the uh, uh, landscape mode and you will see that YouTube will expand and uh, the full screen will be occupied with the video, right? That everyone has experience, I feel. This is called as a uh, landscape and portrait modes, portrait and landscape modes. And this is an option in Android phones or Android devices. Whereas in iPhone and iPad mobile screens, okay, mobile devices, here uh, you have to drag this notification center from the uh, right, uh, top right corner like this and you will get this and here you have an option like this okay this is the option guys okay as you can see some lock symbol and with uh, some circle is there right this option you have to use in iphone here in ipad here like this you have to use and select this option and the same thing will happen whatever that happens okay now so what happens then then the applications in these devices after selecting this option the applications in these devices will change accordingly when you rotate the applications also will adjust to the rotation okay that is screen orientation. We call this uh, portrait modes and landscape mode as screen orientation, guys. In which screen orientation you are testing the application. Portrait mode screen orientation, you are testing the application or you are testing the application as part of mobile application testing. Are you testing the mobile application in portrait mode or landscape mode or both? It all depends. In what case it will depend? It depends on the type of the application that you are testing. Not all applications will support the landscape mode. Some applications will only support portrait mode, guys. Okay, try to install different applications, guys. Some applications will switch the modes. Okay, when you rotate this mobile screen, okay, uh, to the land portrait to landscape, automatically the application will switch. For, for example, YouTube, YouTube does the same. Okay, it will rotate according to the uh, port uh, portrait mode. It will be YouTube in portrait mode. And when once you rotate with this auto rotate option on, then landscape mode will be there. Okay, the application also changes to the landscape mode. Okay, what is the best view? You will choose according to your needs. But not all applications have to rotate, okay? Uh, the, uh, it all depends on the client, guys, client requirements. Client may say that, okay, my application that you're going to test, mobile application that you're going to test should not only work on portrait, but also should work on the landscape mode, okay? In both modes, it should work. In that case, your test cases related to this mobile application testing should include portrait and landscape mode testing. That is an additional task. What if the client says that, uh, it should only support portrait mode. It should not support landscape mode. Still, you have to test that, saying that uh, the application should not rotate. Okay, you have to make sure that application should not rotate. If the client is saying that only portrait mode application should work, only in portrait mode it should work. It should not work in landscape mode. We generally write the test case for not working. Also, it depends on the client requirements. All depends on the client requirements, guys. Okay. So while testing the mobile applications, we rotate the mobile device from portrait mode to landscape mode to check whether mobile application is working properly in different supported modes. Okay, if the this or uh, this uh, screen or uh, screen orientation modes are supported by the mobile application, then only we test. Otherwise, you don't test. Okay, the mobile app is if supported in both portrait and landscape mode as given by the client requirements. On changing the modes from portrait to landscape or landscape to portrait, the application will rotate itself to adjust itself to the rotated mode. The application will automatically rotate. You see here. This QFOX page is there, it got rotated and you can see the logo in big size here, right? Because of the rotation. 
for example. So we need to find out this with the clients, guys. I already mentioned uh, this all depends on the client requirements, guys. Okay, not all applications have to support the both the modes. Some applications will only support portrait mode, but not the landscape. Okay, if the client requirement says that both portrait and landscape, then we have to test in both the modes. Okay, so if the application is only supporting portrait, still we need to check the landscape mode to see the it's not rotating. Okay, that also I covered. I explained. This is the option, guys. We have to choose auto rotate, and this is the auto rotate option in the Apple devices. Okay. So uh, with this guys, I'm done with uh, the explanation of screen orientation, the role of screen orientation in mobile app testing. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on mobile testing. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.